If you're a heating air conditioning technician or even a salesperson, what's a good question for you to ask in your discovery phase to see what you could do to help your buyer? And why does it matter? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Silverbell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets on a perfect day to talk about sales and business and a fantastic day to talk about you. Coming to you live from Sacramento. All right, so, you know, I am a very linear thinker. Uh, I am the opposite of ADD. I am the opposite of ADHD. And I'm gonna share with you something that has been very beneficial for a lot of people that I work with in quite a few different industries. And so if we put a line, a straight line, and we start right here and say, this is the beginning of your sales process, and we go, this is the end, we need to know about what somebody wants at the end over here to see what we can do to help them. So one of the easiest questions that you can ask is, what is the outcome that you want from this meeting? Okay, what would you like the outcome to be from this meeting? At, at the end of the day, what outcome are you hoping for? Whatever way you want to ask. You're like, Scott, can I ask it my way? Sure, I don't care, right? The, the thing is, is what you're trying to get to is the end zone of what is the ideal outcome that your buyer wants? What is the thing that they're looking for? Now, here's the thing. You can't freak out about the answer. There's going to be times where you meet with somebody and they're like, well, we're collecting bids. Okay, cool. At least I know what I'm up against. So what? Right? Don't freak out here. You're over here at the beginning. What's the outcome you want? Oh, I'm collecting bids. Boo, hoo, hoo, hoo. No, let the person say it. Cool, I get it. No big deal. Then you can start asking them about criteria. You can ask somebody, what's the ideal outcome you want? Well, you know, I'm just, I want to talk to a couple of people, just get a feel for what's going on. I don't know if I want to do this right now. I'm just trying to get things figured out. Okay, cool. Now I know what questions that I want to ask. But if I don't talk about the ideal outcome, what happens is I get to the end of the sales call. And the person's like, well, I really, here's an objection that I should have had in the very beginning, or here's a concern I should have had in the very beginning, or here is something that I needed to know from the very beginning of the call. And this right here is why you should join my email publication. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. It could be private coaching, private training, something that I'm offering to teach you for a few bucks so I can pay for my bad habits. I don't know. It could be a lot of things. So what is the outcome that you want? Like I could ask you this, what was the outcome that you wanted to watch for watching this video today? Well, I wanted to learn a new sales strategy, fantastic. What's the outcome that I want? Well, I was just kind of cruising the internet and I saw this video and I thought, hey, that looks like a cool headline. Okay, but if you start looking at like, what's the purpose? What's the ideal outcome that you want? You now have a presentation that you can build. You now have a conversation. I learned this from uh, one of my mentors, this guy's name is Jason Cisneros. Jason's a flat out baller. Jason, if you watch this, love you, dude. So here's the thing. If you want to get on his schedule and you call and you talk to his assistant, she's going to say this. What's the outcome that you want from the meeting? And if you can't answer that question, you're not ever talking to Jason, right? Jason told me, he's like, Scott, I would have employees say, I want to whine and complain. At least I knew the outcome. Put them on the schedule, right? He would say, hey, I'm trying to sell you something. Great. Put them on the schedule. I'll give you an example from my personal life. Last week, I'm in the lobby of the building here. Get a phone call. Hey, Scott, XYZ company, I'd love to come talk to you for 15 minutes. Cool, what's the outcome you want? Well, we just want to get to know you and build, build a relationship. I'm like, I'm not interested. Because look, you're going to come here for 15 minutes. You're going to talk for 15 minutes. You're going to build a report. You're going to give me a 15 minute presentation. And then it's going to take me 15 minutes to kick you out of the office, right? I don't have 45 minutes to waste. And I only have like these meetings that I only do once a month. So like, that's not going to work for me. And so the guy was like, but, but, but. And I was like, hey, look, I'm going to save your number. Let's keep in touch. Let's, and, and if something comes up, I'm not trying to push you off, but I have no use for what you need to do. Why am I going to take that meeting? Right? So if you start asking this question in your own personal life, what's the outcome that you want? But not being a jerk about it. Like it may sound like you're like, hey, what's the outcome you want? I'm not ask. Listen, you may hear my vocal inflection and intention wrong because I'm slightly amped up to shoot a video, but it would be like this. Okay, great. What's the outcome that you want from today? <coughs> And you just got to really get really good at asking the question, what's the outcome that you want? And there's, there's a million different ways you could ask this question. But in the beginning of the meeting over here is going to give you a different outcome when you ask it. You can't ask it over here. You, you can definitely, in the beginning, in your discovery phase, hey, what's the outcome you want from this meeting today? Oh, well, I just want to gather some intel, want to get some information, want to start this relationship. Cool, no problem. You ask it out here, you're kind of too late. You're way too late, not even kind of. What's the outcome that you want to watch from this video today? Super important question. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. Every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. Three, 
you know what you gotta do. Share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.